Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video today. I'm just heading to town so I thought I would film a video and yeah basically <laughs> that's all there is to it. So let's jump right in. I've prepped my skin, I have my moisturiser on and everything so let's start off with foundation. I'm going to be using the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation in the shade 190 True Beige and I'm going to be applying that with a Real Techniques contour brush. I uh, don't really want too much coverage today and this foundation is quite nice, it gives like a medium coverage. Ooh. Yeah, okay, cool, I like that. Foundation is done. I'm going to pop on a bit of bronzer and I'm going to use the Rimmel Natural Bronze. And this is in 022 Sun Bronze. And I'm just going to take that with a blush brush. And this is by Gosh. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that. I'm just going to dust that along my cheeks. I really like this bronzer. And I think it was about four pounds and I've had it for so long it's so lovely so let's pop on a bit of highlighter and I'm going to use a new product that I've got and this is by a company called Mina and they are a brand new cosmetic company they have a store in Covent Garden which is so aesthetically pleasing everything is color like color coordinated like so when you go in it's just, it's just like pure heaven and if you if you like things to be in perfect order and you'll just love it in there so if you're ever in Covent Garden definitely check it out and yeah they're on Instagram so I'll leave the link to them down below but this is one of their highlighters and this is the shade 200 so I'm gonna pop a bit of that onto the cheeks today don't know if you can see it let me just swatch it on my finger so that's the shade I'm just going to use a um, slightly dirty uh, duo fibre contour brush by Raw Techniques. Ooh, that's nice. That's very nice. Let's just, you know, chuck a bit more on. Ooh, oh yeah, yes. Yes, yes and yes. Yeah, I really like that highlighter. And also a tiny bit on my chin. So onto the eyes. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick as an eyeliner. And this is by MAC, and this is one of their retro matte lipsticks, and this is in Feels So Grand, and it's just a bright red shade. Um, when I get ready in the mornings, I don't really plan my looks. I just kind of go with it and see my mood, see if I'm feeling experimental, and today I am. So what I'm going to do is take a bit of the lipstick and pop it onto the back of my hand. And the brush I'm going to use to do this is the Real Techniques Pixel Point brush. I generally don't tend to use this brush for eyeliner, but because I want it to be quite thick, um, this brush is definitely going to be able to give me that thickness. Generally, when I do eyeliner, I want something that's really fine and really thin, but so I don't really tend to use this brush a lot. But today it's going to get some loving. So, gonna got the lipstick on the back of my hand. I'm gonna just go in with the brush and pick up some of that product. And what I will say about the liquid lipsticks is that you do need to work pretty quickly because they do dry quite quickly, so yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking I might do a thin black line just right at the root of the lashes. Mm, actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to stick on loads of mascara. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. Mm, 
so I've just added um, a bit of black eyeliner to the to the tight line, and I've used Urban Decay's Zero for that, and it's just given my lashes a lot more depth at the root, and that's just going to make them look thicker and fuller. So I'm just going to add a bit of mascara to my lashes, and I'm going to use Horton Naughty by Mac and I'm going to use a second wand for that it's going to just give me really nice thick full lashes so let's whack some of that on oh, just dug myself in the eye as well These are the eyes, a really strong red wing with really clumpy lashes. It's a really top heavy and then like oh, nothing on the bottom. So let's zoom you out and finish off the look with the lips. I'm going to use a lipstick by NYX and this is one of the lip smacking fun colours and this is in the shade Frappuccino. It's just a really nice nude shade. I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand. It looks like that. So I'm just going to dab that really lightly onto my lips. So I'm just going to kind of rub that into my lips, just so it softens the colour and creates more like a stain. I just, I don't want it to be too much on the lips. So this is the finished look. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it interesting. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please do leave them in the comments below. As always, you can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Both of them are at Sophia underscore and I will leave a link to them here. So this will be my Instagram. And my Twitter will be around somewhere too. And I'll also leave a link to my blog in the description down below as well. And that would be awesome if you could check that out as well. And also, hit the subscribe button. That would be bloody great, wouldn't it? So, bye!